Hello, and welcome to the Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control, or C-RISC, course offered by Simply Learn. Let's explore the C-RISC course in the next screen. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to discuss the C-RISC certification, explain the SACA organization, list the C-RISC domains, explain the value of holding the C-RISC designation, Discuss how to obtain the C-RISC certification. Explain the C-RISC exam pattern. Let's discuss the C-RISC certification in the next screen. As you know, C-RISC is a certification offered by ISACA. It's an internationally recognized profession that is targeted to information systems professionals who manage risks through development and maintenance of information systems controls. C-RISC provides a body of knowledge on information technology or systems risk management. To obtain the certification, you require knowledge of the enterprise and designing controls that will mitigate information technology risks. Let's look at the ISACA organization in the next screen. ISACA is the governing body that conducts the C-RISC examination and provides certification to qualified aspirants. The acronym ISACA formerly stood for Information Systems Audit and Control Association. However, as the association grew, its mandate expanded beyond audit and controls to become the leading global provider of knowledge, certifications, community, advocacy, and education on information systems assurance and security, governance and management of IT, as well as IT-related risk and compliance. Thus, it is currently known only by the acronym ISACA. ISACA was founded in 1969 and over the years has grown to have over 140,000 members in over 180 countries as of 2015. You too can become a member of ISACA by registering on their website, www.isaka.org. ISACA developed and continually updates the COBIT, VALIT, and RISC IT frameworks which help IT professionals and enterprise leaders fulfill their IT governance responsibilities and deliver value to the business. In addition, ISACA hosts international conferences, as well as publishing journals. Let's look at the C-RISC domains in the next screen. Do you know what benefits the members of ISACA get if they want to pursue a certification course? Members of ISACA get subsidized rates in pursuing their certifications, which include Certified Information Systems Auditor, or CISA, Certified in the Governance of Enterprise IT, or CGEIT, Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control, or CRISC, Certified Information Security Manager, or CSIM. Let's look at the content coverage in the CRISC examination and learn about the C-RISC domains in this context. Let's learn more about C-RISC. For one to earn the C-RISC designation, IT risk and control professionals are required to successfully pass the C-RISC exam and adhere to the ISACA Code of Professional Ethics. In addition, one has to agree to comply with C-RISC continuing education policy and submit verified evidence of three years of work experience in the field of information technology risk management and information security control. In addition, this work experience must be comprehensive and achieved in two of the four C-RISC domains. Unlike other ASACA certifications, there are no waivers or substitution for experience when one is applying for C-RISC certification. Let's look at the C-RISC exam in the next screen. Let's learn more about the C-RISC exam. The C-RISC exam questions are prepared with the intent of gauging and testing hands-on skills in IT risk and control. The C-RISC exam is paper-based that consists of 150 multiple choice questions covering four practice areas, which must be completed within a four hour period. All questions have four options and intended for one correct answer. The C-RISC students should choose the correct answer from the choices. ISACA uses a scale from 200 to 800 when grading the examination, and minimum pass mark for the C-RISC exam is 450 marks. A few questions will be presented in the following screens. Select the correct option and click Submit to see the feedback. 
Here is a quick recap of what we have learned in this domain. C-RISC is a certification offered by ISACA for professionals in information technology risk management and information systems controls. The C-RISC exam covers four IT risk and IS control areas. Each of these is clearly defined and explained through tasks and knowledge statements. C-RISC is divided into four domains, which are information technology risk identification, information technology risk assessment, responding to risk and mitigation, risk and control monitoring and reporting. This concludes the domain on Introduction to C-RISC.